Jamie Christensen to kick it off for the tie. And it's a short kick, loose football, who's got it? How about Alabama has it at the 44-yard line? Some big news concerning Alabama and some of their players. We'll get to that in just a moment with Dave Baker, who's down on the sidelines. But first, John Parker Wilson to throw on first down. D.J. Hall near side, that is a catch. The big deal for this Alabama offense, two starting offensive linemen. You, you had Caldwell, Antoine Caldwell, who Nick Saban says is their most versatile offensive lineman. He was going to start at right tackle today. Marlon Davis, the right guard, is out. There you see Glenn Coffey, who's very much in the rotation at running back as well. B.J. Stable will start at guard. Mike Johnson at tackle. Opportunity for those two young men to step up. Wilson fire pass is caught at the 30-yard line. And driving for the first down is Mike McCoy. From the right hash. It is dead solid perfect. And Alabama using the onside kick to start the game. Picks up three points in the process. The first down and ten. Aims to throw a quick slant. Gain of about three on the play. That's Lucas Taylor, who continues to rack up some catches. They're fifth in the league at 40% on conversions. That will go up with this pass and catch out over the 45 to Josh Briscoe. First down, Tennessee, a gain of 12. Alabama, one of the best in the conference, second in the SEC in terms of getting the punch back. I think it's 16.2 uh, uh, yards that they're averaging with arenas. Tennessee next to last in the country in terms of covering punts. Well, they will kick it out of bounds. After that game, after that season, Wallace Wade left and went to go coach Duke. They had back-to-back -back six and three seasons in 28 and 29, and fans wanted him fired, so he was on and kept his word. As Travis McCall takes it out to the 30-yard line, first down. Little play action to Grant. Wilson will throw again, lofting it up high, looking for Hall. He's got it! And a flag comes down at the 31-yard line. Pass at the 20-yard line as Keith Brown. Now they'll get back into a conventional formation and they get some movement up front. Tennessee jumping, saying Alabama move. But... Dead ball, offside. 99 defense. Five yard penalty results in the first down. Well, Wilson has all day to throw and hits the goalpost stanchion and a flag down right where John Parker Wilson got hit. And it will be a personal foul, roughing the passer against the balls. Due to the fullback in motion out of Knoxville, Tennessee. But here's Wilson throwing on the run. Touchdown, Terry Grant and Alabama. Over the middle. Pass is caught, first down to 45, it goes to Josh Briscoe. Tennessee to the line quickly. Off the right side goes Foster, he's got a lot of room to the 40. That's another first down for Tennessee at the 40-yard line. Got 125 or seven miss and 139 last week against Mississippi State. Here's Chris Brown, he'll take it to the 30. Close to the first down. I think he'll spot him just shy by inches. Then Hall, here's Foster dancing around. Stiff arms inside the 20. Down to the 17. Foster down inside the 10. With time, lost it up. Out of bounds, flags come in all over the place. Pass interference, defense number two. By rule, the ball will be spotted at the two yard line, first down. 
Here's Foster. Uses that dead leg and takes it to the end zone. This Tennessee offense averaging 34 points a game. That's fifth best in the SEC. You can't say that Tennessee's offense hasn't been effective this year. Here goes Arenas still dancing around into Tennessee territory and then some. Here comes Lee Tippin to attempt the 48-yard field goal, which would be a new long for Lee. He's hit from 42 twice this year. And this one misses to the right. A little quick hitter out over the 35 to the 37-yard line. That goes to Josh Briscoe. Sometimes a guy gets lost in the mix. Yeah. We think, oh, we got to get this guy back on the field. They're doing that today. Driving for the first down on third and short was LaMarcus Coker. You know, here and there, a spotty type of situation. But every time you say third Saturday in October, people know what you're talking about. Wide open. Arian Foster to the 10. Touchdown, Tennessee. Nice call out of the timeout. The spot of the foul, first down. Here's Foster inside the five, down to the three-yard line. There's a first down opportunity at the one. We open up the second quarter. Chris Brown in motion. Third down and goal from the two. A little play action, wide open. Touchdown, Tennessee. It goes to Luke Stocker, his first touchdown grab of the season. Well, another nice job on the play action fake, and then a good job of Eric Ainge getting his head around. Trailing by four now after leading 10 to nothing. Pass caught on the far side by D.J. Hall. That's a first down. Marcellus Johnson. D.J. Hall today. Five grabs, 84 yards. Here's Terry Grant. Into Tennessee territory at the 45-yard line. D.J. just doesn't catch passes. He blocks his running back. He'll delay handoff to Grant. He'll bust it to the outside. He's got five. Give him eight. Johnson runs him out of bounds again. <laughs> Two tight ends set now for Alabama. Eleven grabs last week against Ole Miss, 140 yards. That was one catch shy of the Alabama all-time single game record. John Parker Wilson will fire. Who's the hot hand? The number 22, D.J. Hall. Kind of sneaky, if you will, as Upchurch goes in motion to the far side. Some movement up front, and Wilson is leveled from behind. Loose football. Tennessee has it at the 27-yard line. Flags are everywhere. Offsides. Defense. Five-yard penalty. They've gone 77 yards in eight plays to this point. First and goal. Here's Upchurch off the left side. And a big collision down around the seven-yard line. Following the play, dead ball, personal foul, 50 of the offense. 15-yard penalty, second down. Third and goal from the 16. Wilson over the middle. Jumping up and down on that Alabama sideline, trying to get his defense to recognize some formation. And a flag down right where Eric Ains threw the pass. He Holding off at 72. 10-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Second down and 19. Ains. 
Passes caught at the 35. First down and then some out to the 44-yard line. Goes Austin Rogers, tripped up by Marcus Carter. Empty set now for Tennessee. And good drop over the middle. Passes caught by Lucas Taylor, who gets flipped up, but close to a first down. Coaches say that he plays as hard as anybody on the field, including practice sessions. Darren Mustard on Lennon Freer, the true freshman out of Tatum, Texas. Arenas, one of the best return guys. He's shaking his head as he looked up into the sun. Flags are down. Here's Arenas. He will let it bounce down at the one and into the end zone. You go ahead and take the kick into the end zone. Illegal formation on the offense. Six men on the line of scrimmage. Five yard penalty will be attacked out of the 20 yard line. First down. There you go. Parker Wilson, pass caught, D.J. Hall. We'll say he's down. D.J. Hall thought he just rolled over the Tennessee defender, Ryan Carl. Wilson will come that way with it. Grant makes the catch. Tried to break a tackle, couldn't do it. Brent Vinson will hold on. Before intermission, Wilson, he'll tuck it and run. Close to the first down. Andre Smith with that one run behind. Here's Grant. Bins. I think he got it. They will stop the clock at 146. We'll play action. Wilson dancing around. And he will pick up six as he runs out of bounds to stop the clock with a minute 20. Boy, no timeout taken. Alabama trying to run for the first down. And Grant will have it down to the 10. That'll stop the clock. Wilson will tuck it and run down to the four-yard line. And I think Alabama may have to use a timeout here. Over the middle, back, oh, but a flag comes in. Hefty scores the interception, but will it stand? Pass interference, defense, the 14. Ball will be spotted at the two-yard line, automatic first down. Well, throw it to Hall. His second touchdown grab of the afternoon, and he has a career day going. But they've done a good job of keeping him standing there so he can throw. That will sail out of bounds. So Tennessee will force Alabama back five yards to the 25. Here's a little squib kick taken at the 40-yard line. And Nevin McKenzie. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, I have another. Pass is caught by Brown. There's a first down out of bounds. That'll leave two seconds. And now comes a flag, and they'll probably pick up 15 more, and they might get in field goal range. Dead ball, personal foul, defense. Late hit out of bounds. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Here's the kick, and he sneaks it in there, and Tennessee gets a free three, if you will, to close the gap to 24 to 17 as we've concluded the first two quarters of play. P.J. Fitzgerald would punt it away, averaging just over 38 yards. Jonathan Hefney is back to return the punt. Boy, Tennessee nearly got a hand on that punt. Hefney waves everybody off, and he gets a good Alabama roll. 15 slow yards on the punt. And off goes to Foster. He's got plenty of room out over the 35 to the 36-yard line. Ainge fires. 
is. Here's Rodgers at midfield. That's a first down for Tennessee at the 48. Mitchell on the coverage. They do take it all the way down to the end. He doesn't know where it is. Time to throw the ball out to the 40. Three-yard line, or excuse me, the 38-yard line. Boy, another good throw from Eric Ainge, who's now 15 out of 18 for 181. We'll throw it again. Over the middle, pass is picked off. Kareem Jackson to the 30, to the 38-yard line. Taylor is a fan of Alabama football. You've had some exciting games to watch this year. And that pass is caught by Matt Cadell. Took it right away from Brent Vinson. Here's Grant on the far side. He'll pick up seven. Ryan Carl, the linebacker out of Franklin, Tennessee, drags him to the ground. D.J. Hall with 130 receiving yards today. The rest of the team, 101. And here's Hall out of bounds at the 25-yard line. D.J. Hall ties his career record in terms of single-game reception, matching what he did last week. And Terry Grant takes it inside the 20-yard line. Now 24 out of 34 for 250 yards. And John Parker Wilson, as soon as he threw that pass, was looking for a flag. 20-yard field goal on the way from Lee Tiffin. He's hit from 39, missed from 48 from the near hash. Kick is up and good. But Tennessee held, holds Alabama to three points. Alabama's had the football for nine more minutes than Tennessee today. And stands in the pocket. Plenty of protection passes caught at the 40. That'll be a first down. It goes to Austin Rogers, who is racking up some catches now. Here's Foster. Out to the 48-yard line. That'll make it a manageable third down. Well, he's got 11 carries for 80 yards. Look at that per carry average. I keep feeding that monster, that's for sure. Bad down at the line of scrimmage. Keith Saunders, 6'4", 250 pounds, elevated and knocked the pass to the turf. Third in the SEC in punting average. And this is a good one. That'll sail down to the five-yard line and bounce into the end zone. And come out for a touchback. Wilson will throw wide out. DJ Hall makes a man miss. DJ Hall to the 50-yard line. Who in 1969 and then again in 1970 had 12 catches in a game. And now DJ Hall joins that line. Here's Terry Green to the 40. That's close to a first down. Wilson buying some time. Here goes Grant Nifty running inside the 30 down to the 27-yard line. And Vincent is a guy that they tried out early in the year at wide receiver but decided to make him a DB. 42-yard kick on the way from Lee Tiffin is up and it is good. 203 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Jones in the pocket over the middle. Pass is caught and a big hit. Gerald Jones stays on his feet out over the 40 to the 41. Averaging 44.7 yards a punt today. Pressure comes. And a good high kick that will bounce out of bounds. See where they mark it. Not much of a chance for Arenas. Last time these two clubs met here at Bryant Denny Stadium, it was 6-3. to three. A little bit different here in 2007. Wilson will lob it up. And the pass is caught on the far side out at the 42-yard line by Nikita Stover. First down and 10 from the 43-yard line. Setting up a little screen. Plenty of running room. A lot of daylight. Up church down to the 35-yard line. First down, Alabama. Major Applewhite has done a nice job of mixing screen, run, and the short passing game. It's neutralized the defensive front. John Parker Wilson. 
scrambling, running, and gets hit at the 28. But John Parker Wilson just set a new career high for passing yards today. Wilson, pressure comes, fires over the middle. The 15 down to the 14. Hefty makes a touchdown saving tackle. Terry Grant in that tailback. He will get the handoff. Left side to the 10, down to the 8. Johnson with the stop, his eighth tackle from his cornerback position. I would expect Tennessee to zone this off. They've done a nice job against the passing game when they stayed zone in the red zone. Wilson has 358 through the air, 28 on the ground. Here comes Tennessee running the football. Arian Foster out over the 30-yard line. 10-20 to play. Ains fires near side. That'll be a first down and a hit out of bounds on Chris Brown. That's just how crazy the season has been in the SEC. Ains throws. Here's Foster with a big stiff arm on McClain. He's out to the 43. That'll be close to a first down. He got uh, chop blocked early in this game. Uh, third and inches. Arian Foster goes flying over the pile. Excuse me, Coker goes flying over the pile. Truly a, a big time effort by the, the guys in Crimson today. Pressure comes. Ains fires. Pass is caught, but shy of the first down marker by a couple of yards. Ains, 20 out of 30 for 240 yards. Low snap. Pressure comes. Ains. On fourth down, just threw it away. Pressure came from Wallace Gilberry. Now has back-to-back-to-back 100-yard games versus Tennessee. Wilson will fire, and Hall. Tried to turn, but was held up at the 30-yard line. And here comes some extracurricular activity in the back of that. Uh... Dead ball, personal foul, 93 defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first foul. Didn't make our headshot list, but uh, <laughs> since 1983, here's a look at the coaches. Except for Stallings, no coach has lasted more than four years. 44-yard field goal to kick on the way from Lee Chipman. for the Crimson Tide. Marina says get away from it, and the ball will be down at the 25-yard line. All told, Alabama has racked up 503 yards of offense. Hefney will let it bounce. And Alabama will down it at the 31-yard line. Yeah, they're playing. And you don't know what's going to happen tonight. Obviously, Auburn, LSU have to tangle tonight. So one of those teams will have two losses. Jonathan Crompton in. It's more. That'll be a first down. But And that game has uh, huge implications. And ooh, two touchdowns by West Virginia against Mississippi State. And the second interception of the day for Kareem Jackson, and that'll do it with 1.28 to play in the game as Crompton throws the interception. He went in up seven and still went in there like they were down three scores, and he would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in that conversation. He was, uh, he, I'm sure he ripped them up and down and was able to get them to come back out. Here's a look at our Lincoln Financial Group players of the game, Arian Foster, John Parker, Wilson. What a performance by John Parker Wilson today. 363 yards and three touchdowns. A new career high for John Parker. And you know that uh, coming against Tennessee, he will not forget this afternoon. And that will do it. 41.
21 to 17. Nick Saban in his first case of this third Saturday of October. A convincing win over Tennessee.